Chow Chow Dog Breed Information The Chow Chow Dog breed has a proud, independent personality with eye-catching style that some people equate to that of a cat. They may be aloof and wary of strangers. So, if you are looking for like a cuddle bunny, this is definitely not the breed for you. They may, however, be a fiercely loyal partner for the right individual. Do you consider purchasing a Chow Chow? In this video, you will learn everything about the breed based on 8 topics. So you can find out if this is the best dog for you. Hey, do you want to find your perfect puppy on Puppy Spot? Click on the first link in the description, choose your favorite puppy, send the request, and fill out your details. They will take care of the rest. Number 1. Origin The Chow Chow has long been considered to be one of the oldest dog breeds, and genetic testing has verified this. This ancient breed is thought to have originated in Mongolia and northern China, gradually migrating south with Mongolia's nomadic tribes. Early images of dogs resembling the Chow Chow can be found in the Han Dynasty pottery and paintings 206 BC to 22 AD. According to legend, one Chinese emperor kept 2,500 pairs of Chows as hunting dogs. The dogs were used to protect their owner's belongings in addition to hunting. On the negative side, their fur was used to trim jackets, and the flesh was a delicacy. The black tongued dog, Hei Shei To, wolf dog, Lang Gao, bear dog, Shang Gao, and Canton dogs were all names given to the breed in China, Guangdong Gao. The story of how he became the Chow Chow is pretty fascinating. Some of the bear like dogs were included in the cargo of British merchants in the late 18th century. The word Chow Chow was applied to a number of things, including dogs, and the name stuck. Number 2. Personality Chow Chow's personality has been compared to that of a cat. Reserved, independent, dignified, intelligent, and stubborn. A good Chow, despite his scowl, should never be offensive or shy. Chows normally keep to themselves, and they don't really get into mischief. Strangers are of no concern to them unless, you know, they enter the Chow's home without the owner's permission, in which case he will challenge the trespasser. He will, however, allow strangers to contact him if one of his owners introducing them to him. If a Chow Chow is to be healthy and relaxed as an adult, he must be thoroughly socialized, exposed to new people, pets, and circumstances as a puppy. Number 3. Appearance The Chow Chow, Chow for short, is an impressive looking dog with deep set eyes and a wide head accentuated by a mane of fur. You may think a well bred and well raised chow is mean or ill tempered because of his appearance, but a well bred and well raised chow isn't really violent. Instead, the chow is said to have lion's notability, a panda's drollness, a teddy bear's appeal, a cat's grace and freedom, and a dog's loyalty and devotion. As befits a breed that was once housed in imperial Chinese kennels, he's still dignified and aloof. Number 4. Trainability When it comes to training, a simple verbal connection is generally enough to get the Chow Chow back on track. Hitting a dog is never a good idea, but it is particularly bad with this breed. Chow, who is fiercely proud and self-reliant, will never react to physical violence. You won't have any trouble teaching him if you win his confidence with strong consistency. Chows are relatively easy to housebreak, but crate training is strongly advised. Crates help with house training and discourage your chow from chewing on your belongings once you're gone. A crate is a tool, not a jail however, so don't keep your chow locked up in it for long periods. The safest place to get a chow is right next to you. Chows are more than capable of understanding everything you can tell them, and typically only a verbal correction is needed to correct them. Hitting a dog is not a good idea, but it is particularly bad with this breed. Chow who is fiercely reliant and proud will never react to physical violence. You won't have any trouble teaching him if you earn his confidence as a puppy by being strict and consistent. However, if you let the adorable puppy have his way all the time and then try to teach him, you're bound to have some issues. Number 5. Time Investment 
Clean your chow chow three times a week to keep the coat in good shape and avoid loose hair from falling on your clothes and furniture. Chow chows shed a lot in the spring and summer, so their coat needs special care. If the hair is washed regularly, it should not have a doggy odor. A stainless steel greyhound comb with medium coarse teeth, a medium sized slicker brush from the legs, a medium pin brush for the longer body coat and a spray bottle of diluted coat conditioner for misting the coat while you brush are all necessary tools for brushing. Brushing a dry coat will cause the hair to split. If you do not brush all the way down to the skin, you'll miss mats and tangles. Number 6. Best Home Chow Chows can get along with kids if they are raised with them, but they are not rough and tumble dogs that will put up with a lot of bullying from a young child. Chows thrive in homes with other children who know how to care for a dog. Always teach children how to approach and touch the chow and supervise all interactions between dogs and young children to avoid biting or ear pulling on either side. Chows that have been properly socialized and trained will get along with other dogs and cats, especially if they are introduced to them when they are young. They work better with dogs of the opposite sex, but they can fight with dogs of the same sex. Number 7. Help Chow Chows are usually healthy dogs, but they, like all breeds, can develop health problems. While not all Chows will contract any or all of these illnesses, it is important to be aware of them if you're thinking about getting one. Find a successful breeder who can show you health clearances for both your puppy's parents if you are buying a puppy. Health clearances demonstrate that a dog that has been screened for and cleared of a specific disease. Health clearances from the Orthopedic Foundation for Animals for Hips and the Canine Eye Registry Foundation surf, certifies that the eyes are natural should be used in chows. Health clearances are not provided to dogs younger than 2 years old because certain health issues do not turn up until they reach full maturity. Look for a breeder who waits until her dogs are 2 or 3 years old before breeding them. Number 8. Cost This dog is costly to purchase, but the cost of owning a chow chow do not end there. A chow chow of your own will set you back about $900 or so. The average grooming cost for this medium sized dog is $90. Chow Chows have a 12 to 15 year life expectancy and average healthcare expenses will reach $11,000. Did you like this video? If so, it would be great if you subscribe to our channel so you do not miss new videos and learn more about dogs every day. So, do you want to find your perfect puppy on Puppy Spot? Click on the first link in the description, choose your favorite puppy, fill out your details and send the request. Their comprehensive screening process goes above and beyond federal regulations and has helped them place more than 200,000 healthy puppies into happy homes. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.